Hey y'all, it's Laura uh, <laughs> with Cosper Creations. I'm a part-time picker, thrifter, and reseller in Central Mississippi. And today is October 14th and it was Canton Flea Market Day. Um, this is a day that I, I look forward to twice a year. Um, my mom and I, it's kind of tradition, we go and we are professional lookers because we actually don't walk away with a lot. But it's just something we enjoy going to. We've been doing it since I was in high school. I think, if I remember correctly, my senior year of high school, I had perfect attendance. And I know, such a nerd. I really wasn't, but I just didn't miss any. So, um, it was like close to awards day. And they were like, you have perfect attendance, or you're going to get the perfect attendance award. I'm like, actually, I'm, I'm going to miss on Thursday because it's Canton Flea Market Day. So, Canton Flea Market is held twice a year, the second Thursday in May and the second Thursday in October. And um, I'm going to show you what I got at the flea market, but I'm going to run through a few other things first. So, um, here are some what sold. So typically my weekends are busier with sales and then it kind of falls off Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. But I had a few sales come in last night and I've had a few today. So that's good. There were two sales that I missed um, that I guess happened Monday night maybe. Um, I sold a dance costume, a dance outfit. Um, it was actually my daughter's. She took dance all during elementary. And we had to buy the outfits, the costumes for the recital. Usually it was probably three costumes and they're like stupid expensive. You were spending like, you know, a hundred dollars or more. Um, so I sold one of those that she's just had in the closet. Um, I think I sold it for like $13. So I didn't make my money back, but um, it's out of our house and it went to somebody who maybe needed it. And then I sold a Carhartt jacket. It was a vintage Carhartt jacket. It had still had like a good or a metal zipper made in the USA. Um, I actually got it for free and sold it on. I sold the dance costume on Posh. I sold the Carhartt jacket on eBay for a hundred dollars. So that was awesome. All right, so let's let's look at these sales real quick. Um, I've got a fall fashion sale going on on my Facebook market pe marketplace. Um, I think I put 15% off of everything. So I sold this mini Bowden cherry shirt. Um, I think I paid like a little over a dollar for it. Sold it for $9. Um, and I, when I looked at my sales for Facebook marketplace, it's not showing what my fee is right now. It's like it's taken an extra day or something to, to show up. So it won't be much. So, you know, I probably made six or seven dollars off of this. Just mini Bowden cherry t-shirt. Um, let's see. Um, I got these, saw these Under Armour baseball pants. Uh, picked these up at the bins. I forgot. I think I picked this up at a garage sale. Picked these up at, at the bins. At my average cost of goods that day was $1.48. Sold these for $13. So I profit just over $11 on those. Um, we just, like, we just talked about this sweater. And I still don't know. I think they're Razorbacks, Wild Hogs, whatever. And I, I, I still don't know if those are cats or not. It doesn't matter. It's sold. Um, I think I paid average cost of goods at the bins this day was two dollars and nineteen cents, and it sold on Facebook Marketplace for thirty five. So I'm I'm thrilled. Um, so I'll profit after fees and cost of goods, oh maybe a little over thirty dollars. All right. Um, this is kind of a summer dress, but I guess it doesn't matter. It's just old navy. Old navy yellow dress. It's got like some little, I don't even know if those are flowers. Um, picked this up at the bins. Average cost of goods that day was $1.33. Sold this on Poshmark for $13. So I profit like a little, you know, $8.70, something like that. $8.70. Um, picked this up recently. This is that. Trabian brown faux suede tunic. 
Um, actually, it was free. Sold it for $13 on Mercari, so I profit like $10. And picked this up recently from a Facebook market, um, a Facebook friend who was selling some of her boutique stuff. It was the duck top with the little gingham pants. I paid her $5 for this outfit and it sold for $20 on Facebook Marketplace. So after fees and cost of goods, I make $12. So those are some sales that are going out in the morning. Um, all right. Went by Goodwill yesterday afternoon, picked up a couple of pair of shoes, picked up these Keens. Um, yeah, I don't know. Y'all know me, I don't have my glasses on. And the size is kind of worn, so I'm probably really going to have to investigate. Um, I'm going to say they're probably, I'm just I'm holding it up to my foot, maybe a nine. So, just like keying, like some water shoes, slip on things. So, I've got to get those photographed. I've never heard of this brand, but um, I still really don't know if they're men's or women's. Um... I was trying to see if the tag said because I actually saw this they were over in the men's section but I actually saw the same brand in a lady shoe obvious lady shoe over in the lady section but this is Monroe Sport and these still have their tags on them so um, I really I don't know if they're men's or women's they say an eight and a half let's see if I'm gonna put in them Okay, they're pretty, mm, they may, they may be a women's. Um, I have a high end step, so they're kind of snug, but as far as length, that may be accurate. They just may have had them in the men's section, so I'll have to do some research on that. Um, picked up these. N-I-S-O-L-O, -O, Miss Solo, I don't know, you're probably not going to be able to see it, but um, they're just kind of a leather slip-on shoe, but they had the Vibram or Vibram soles, so um, they were in good shape, so pick those up, and these Ariat, Ariat, um, ladies slip on boots with a little Sherpa lining. Um, they are a size six and a half. So I picked those up at Goodwill. I did swing by an estate sale on my way home also and really didn't find anything except for this vintage um, Arkansas Razorbacks Go Hogs Go kind of a stadium pad. So, all right, let's talk about the flea market. So, like I said, we've been going to this flea market, and I should have prefaced this. This is Canton, Mississippi, not the big Canton, Texas flea market, okay? Um, like I said, I've been going to it since I was in high school. It's twice a year. It's just something that me and my mama just kind of do together um, every year. So, usually we will walk away with dip mixes or cheesecake mixes or soup mixes things like that, and maybe some household stuff, some decorative stuff. Um, but the past couple of years, we've been really walking out with nothing. Like, we'll go, we'll see everything, we'll, we will see every booth, um, and we'll eat. But I don't, like, used, used to, you would see people walking by with the same item, and it was like, okay, that's the hot booth. That's the booth that everybody wants to be at. And you just, you haven't seen that lately. You haven't seen people walking by with the same thing because that's the hot booth for the year. Um, things, in my opinion, have become very wholesale-y. Like, I ordered all this from overseas and I got it in a big box lot and now I'm going to sell it to you. Um... I don't know. I, th I feel like there are areas of the flea market that are still crafts, that are still handmade things, but I feel like that is diminishing. 
Um, and I hate that because that's why we would go. We would go for the handmade things, not the wholesale -y stuff. Um, and that being said, I bought a wholesale -y shirt. Actually, my mom bought it for me. This is just that um, Zanana brand. It's kind of an oversized, cream-colored tunic. It's got pockets. I love pockets. Kind of a three-quarter length sleeve. It almost looks like, you're not going to be able to see it. It's going to be a glare. It almost looks like a raw silk, but it's not. It's just, it's just cotton. So, my mom bought that for me. And, and she bought her one. And that was it. Like, that was it. Um, I saw some things I contemplated, but, I, you know, I just, I didn't go back and get it. Um, it, you know, it's October 14th and I still don't have my fall decorations out. And used to, those are the kind of things I'd buy. I'd buy fall decorations, I'd buy Christmas decorations. And I'm mad at myself because I haven't got my fall decorations out, but I just haven't. I usually would put them up like Labor Day. And I keep them up until the week of Thanksgiving, and then I put my Christmas up. So now I'm just questioning, is it even worth it? Oh, wait. This, um, I did pick this up. This is, um, I can't show you because it is a gift for a coworker. So I did, I did knock a gift off, off my list. But yeah, I just, I don't know. I, I, I guess I think I've got enough decorations for my house and don't need to add anything else like that. And I just didn't see anything that I fell in love with that I had to have. And, um, you know, the clothing that you see that are these wholesale things, you know, there's, you can go in and try them on behind a little curtain. But my gosh, I mean, it was hot today. It was hot. I wasn't know, but anyway, you have to try those kind of things on, but honestly, because sizing is so crazy when you order from overseas. Anyway, nothing about that. I did, I do have a sack. So I went to the Canton Flea Market and found a thrift store. Imagine. I did not even know this thrift store existed. It is on the square. It is called Crossroads Treasures, and it um, supports Crossroads Ministries. Now, what Crossroads Ministries is, is it is an organization that will house ladies who have recently been released from prison. If they're going through any um, addiction, they'll, you know, help them with therapy. They help them see doctors. They have counseling. They help them get back in touch with their family. And they work in this thrift store to learn job skills and things like that. So, I did not know it existed. My mama took me in there. She should have known better. Um, because that's where I spent my money, but I only spent $10. When I went in, they were like, here's a brown bag, fill it with any clothing item except the formal wear for $10. Yeah, I'll do, I'll do that all day long, but I did, I did only get one bag. So, but I'm excited to know about that thrift store and that your money goes to support these ladies who are trying to get back on their feet. So anyway, here's what I picked up. Um, this is Collegiate Traditions, Reliving the Memories, Extra Large. I'm going to say it's a vintage sweater. It is a burgundy cardigan that just says MSU down the side. It has pockets, so it's a Mississippi State cardigan, ladies cardigan. They actually had a lot of college wear, so that's kind of, you'll see, I picked up several pieces. I don't know what these are. I didn't look them up. Um, it was fill a bag. So, they're called Brahms de Paris, and they're made in Hong Kong. They're just some little boy shorts. I don't know anything about them. They just caught my attention. The tag looks vintage. It says well, it's a large seven. So, I don't know. I'll look those up. Um, again, just trying to fill my bag. This is a Disney Zara boys Disney shirt. It's Mickey with his tongue stuck out. <laughs> so, not old because it's a Zara, but, um, I just thought it was cute. Um, uh, I picked up these, um, Kiki Pants, Kiki Pants, um, kind of an Aztec onesie. 
with the ruffle booty. It is a 12 to 18 month. Picked up a black North Face um, Denali jacket. It is a, it's a kid's, a, kid, a boy's large. Boy's large. Black North Face. I know nothing about what a, whatever this is I picked up. It's kind of a jersey. It has stars on the top. It's Nike. It says USA. Still in my bag. Uh, it says Land of the Free, Home of the Brave, Nike Team, size large. I don't know. I'll do some research on it. We'll find out. I picked this up for Macy. I haven't told her because I don't really know if she's going to like it because it's going to be kind of an off-the-shoulder just um, Colonel Red, and it says tradition. So, because she's an Ole Miss fan. It is, um, what was the brand? Oh, it's the next level. Um, so, actually, somebody probably, you know, did that themselves. And that's fine. Here is another Mississippi State. Um... Birch Brothers, size medium, cardigan. It's got MSU and Bully. And are those like goalposts maybe? And on the back, it says MSU. With the football and a pom-pom. Um, what was this? This is Castle Sports Extra Large. It's a fleece navy jacket with like um, Ole Miss kind of emblem right there. It's a button front fleece. It has a piece of tape on it. <laughs> Gotta get this listed immediately. Tiara International, it's a ladies medium. It's a Halloween cardigan. I saw, I've saw the only Halloween cardigan I had. So it's got black cat, jack-o'-lantern, witch's hat, sunflower, um, your little pumpkin, another hat. And on the back, it just has one hat up on the shoulder. Um, I forgot what this was. It's just a caddy. A small dress. And one more item. And the ten dollar for the bag. Um, it's a garnet heel, small, seventy percent wool, thirty percent cashmere, kind of a um, turtleneck, oversized sweater w with pockets. Shut up. I did not notice that. It's got a few little, um, it's got a little bit of pilling, so I'll take the sweater shaver to it. Um, it's kind of a, a gray blue. I don't know if you can tell. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve items for ten dollars. So under a dollar each at the Crossroads Thrift Store Treasures, which benefits Crossroads Ministries in Canton, Mississippi. So I'll definitely be revisiting them again. So that's that's how I, my day went at the Canton Flea Market. Not your usual. I don't usually go in a thrift store during Canton Flea Market, but I was glad my mom showed it to me, and we still had a great day, even though we didn't walk away with very much, and um, just enjoy spending time with her, and getting out, and seeing what's new in the arts and crafts world, and that's it. All right, so until May, when we do maybe the spring show. So anyway, that's what I've got. Um, I'm going to get this stuff washed and photographed and posted along with the shoes I picked up at Goodwill. And I got to get these packages out in the mail. So thanks for tuning in and y'all have a good one.
don't forget to subscribe and like, and thanks so much.